like you're experiencing, you know, uh, being um, in America and being Asian in America. And I said this because in navigating Korean entertainment, which I began doing four years ago and learning more about the industry, there was this book by um, Yuni Hong, Birth of Korean Cool, and she talked about how way back growing up in the 80s, if you said you were Korean, everybody thought you were Chinese. And you just oh, yeah. had one word for China. We but now with Japanese. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, they, they just, and there was always that you couldn't bring your food to school. Everybody thought you smelled. But now, you know, Korea is now cool. You know, we have BTS, we have K-pop, we have K-drama. What has that been like for you? I'm just curious to know, like, given your identity as, you know, Korean and also American, how would you say that has changed over the years? And and as well as the appreciation for the diversity that comes to being, you know, a Korean. Well, I think this is a real great time to be um, Korean American for sure. I'm being Korean even better because oh, I'm like because that, there's a um 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 a slight dif- dis- difference that people are not understanding still yet in the mainstream, which is there's a difference between Koreans and Korean Americans, and yeah. um very very distinctively different. Because if uh, as a Korean American, when I go to Korea, I'm not Korean. You know, so um, and um, when I see a Korean come here to America, I know that they're not Korean American. <laughs> it's the way they walk, everything. It's different, you know. Um, so um, I know the Koreans have gotten a lot of um, attention in the last several years, and but that, but that very specifically is Korean. It's not Korean American yet. Korean Americans still have to have to have a ways to go to get recognized. Um, as far as uh, Korean Americans in the media, I mean, the closest thing we have right now is actually Korean Canadian, which is a TV show that's about to go off the air, which is... I Kim's know, Mr. Kim's coming, yes, yeah! And that's Korean Canadian. There is no Korean American zero, nothing. Um, Steven Yuen is representing Korean Americans, but he didn't win the Oscars, but then everybody... Yeah. Was- Hey, a diversity and all this stuff, but then at the same time, or inclusion, right? At the same yeah. time, I'm like, um, the actress that won, Minotti, is not Korean American. She's, she's Korean American, Korean, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, she's very well represented in Korea. She's a superstar over there. I grew up. She's a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> and she even says she doesn't care about American stuff, and she really couldn't give crap. She's like, she'd rather be in Korea. So I'm like, the, the the media here and the American culture have a long way to catch up, to educate themselves, to understand the diversity and what really uh, the diversity and inclusion is. Because I still feel like they peg us all in to one whole like they think Asia is a country instead of a continent um, <laughs> and like Africa is a country right <laughs> I'm going to Africa like where in Africa are you going <laughs> yeah where, where? <laughs> it's a big place you know just like Asia you know you're going yeah. to <laughs> India or are you going to Japan it's very very different you know <laughs> so yeah I think we still have long ways to go but definitely it's gotten way better than it was back in the 80s because um, nothing was we were hardly being represented in the 80s